I am an animal activist and I fight for all creatures, big and small. But one species has fascinated me while terrifying me at the same time. I am about to enter the territory of a misunderstood species that terrifies most humans. I am about to enter snake territory. Right, so we're just setting up a training area for Jessica. Just setting up a few snakes, semi display cages, they're temporary cages. I don't keep most of my animals permanently. A lot of them are wild animals that need to be put back into the bush. So, uh, either they were sick when I got them or they were a little bit injured and I just rehabilitate them, put them back in the wild. My first experience touching the snake because I'm really terrified. When the tongue sticks out, it freaks me out. What is it? Is this now? This side? Ooh. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. You should. <gasps> <laughs> Yeah. I need to sit down. It has to be at your pace. <laughs> okay, so this is Amber. Amber is a boa constrictor from Central and South America. Uh, she's very calm. Good snake for you to get uh, up close and personal with. <laughs> Never in my wildest dreams did I ever think I would be touching a snake right on its head. Yeah, take keep, that. Yeah, keep his head very far away from me. Yeah. I'm getting used to the feel of them now. Mm. Hello? Snake catcher, yes, yeah. What colour is it? Have you got a, a, an address for me? So we got our first call out to go to. Uh, it's a green snake. Jason is trying to find this green snake and this poor little thing was hiding between the doors and it was just a harmless uh, little green bush snake. And these people have put blue death and this poor little thing was wading through the powder. I was quite touched when Jason gave this little snake a shower and did the uh, tap. I'm going to give him a good wash down and open his mouth and let the water you know, flow through his mouth and just get rid of anything. Toxic. That was my first glimpse of Jason yeah. being absolutely compassionate to these creatures and I realized then that he does this because of his love for them, not because it's a job. Let's go put you in the bush somewhere. Not safe in this neighborhood. The green bush snake is the most common snake in Durban. Sadly, there are more bush snake deaths than any other snake in Durban. And this doesn't need to be the case if people could just educate themselves about the difference between a green bush snake a boom slung and a green mamba. I have got a nice big mamba that I caught a good few months ago. Came into me with a really bad nose injury. I want to eventually be able to put it back in the wild. Uh, Jessica doesn't know this yet, but I require help to restrain the animal while I treat it. She's going to have to give me a hand. I can hear my heart. It's, I can hear it thudding out of my ears. I can feel it in my throat. I am terrified and I think it's very evident. You can see me on, on camera. I am, I am hyperventilating. If you want to. If you want to. For me to hold a mamba for such an extended period of time, it's brought a whole new dimension into my journey. And by the end of the 30 minutes, I wasn't even fearful of the snake anymore. All I felt was compassion because I could see the pain the snake was going through, but he allowed Jason to treat him. How many people can say that they handle the black mamba as one of their first snakes? Oh, well, and he's such fine. a good patient. He's very tolerable. He knows he's being helped. It's a few weeks later, and the mamba we rehabbed is ready for release. I just looked for a, a place where, if I was a snake, I would want to be. Let go there, I want to live there. Well, no, okay, the snake's going to be very happy there. There's going to be food, there's going to be water. We've just had a call now from a guy in Ananda. He says he's got two black mambas. And I thought to myself, there's no way the snake is still there. He then bent down and he came next to me and he was pointing with his finger. I realized he could still see them. It was not two mambas that were in a tree. These were two boomslang. The best part is they were a mating pair. Girl, sorry. Phone must always ring. 
when I've got a venomous snake in my head. Very potent hemotoxic venom. So if you bite you, you're gonna slowly bleed to death. Yeah. They this are rough. Amazing. Never thought I'd see one up close. And I'm touching one. I just have a born slung, a female born slung who's going crazy in this. Um, if the camera can pick it up, she's actually thrashing around in this. The male's gotten away, but we're gonna wait for him. Yeah, I see him, I see him. Yeah, there. About a meter in front of the tongs. He's sitting here so still, so quietly. He's fixated on finding her. Yeah! Both the boy and the girl. Okay, so that's the boy. It's absolutely stunning. They are naturally very calm snakes. I'm actually touching worm slugs here. That is incredible. Such a cool rescue. I mean, I don't catch a lot of worm slugs. I might, I might only catch like four in a, in a whole year. The only chance I'm going to get. These snakes, they, they don't mean harm. So as far as possible, we try to get people not to kill them, you know. Yeah. Because they don't mean harm. We, we had that thought. Yeah, yeah. But then something. They feel beautiful, hey? Yeah. We had a meeting. We had to discuss and things, and the, the rescue part was the one that stood stood <laughs> up and said, okay, let's find someone. It's, our, it's, it's a common perception that a snake, when we see a snake, just kills. So I think such initiatives, us as blacks, get yes. introduced to this yes. kind of rescue, snake rescue. Yes. Yeah. No, uh, I think it's a good start for a long journey. Yes, very yeah. good start. But you need to also raise our uh, community yes. awareness. Here. As soon as we release them, my hope is that they get back to mating and we have more boom slungs being born. This is a female green mamba and she's the mum of the green mamba babies that we're going to be releasing with her later on today. So we walked a couple of kilometers just to find the perfect spot to release the green mamba mum and her babies. and to be part of a, a release with a green mamba mom and her babies was just epic for me. Babies were released and they, they were in the element. It was, it was a moment that I'm gonna take away with me and remember for a very long time. This is me holding the ball python that I was terrified to even handle when I first started my journey. And this has been such an eye-opening experience for me. This is not the end of the road and I want to explore further and discover more about the secret world of snakes.